Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets. Just got home from work at Ulkonsol today, uh, and really felt like a beer because it's been so freaking hot in there. I mean, it was crazy, especially because like there's no air conditioning or anything. You just have to keep the door open to the outside to keep out the heat out. So, I got this beer to review for you guys, which should be kind of refreshing because it's like an American strong ale hopped up thing, and it's a Lagunitas beer, so it's probably going to be pretty good. And it's cheap. That's awesome. So yeah, this is the Lagunitas Undercover is Investigation Shutdown Ale. The first new Lagunitas beer I've seen in a while, because the ones we really usually see here are the stuff I've already reviewed. But it's basically like an American Strong Ale on 9.68% uh, alcohol by volume, so it's a fairly big one. And um, yeah, I've actually had this once before. Uh, it's been a while, but it was pretty tasty. Uh, quite refreshing. I, I guess what I rem from what I remember, it's like kind of these hoppy red ale things, or say, along the lines of Arrogant Bastard. And there was a, this was apparently brewed for some special occasion back in 2005. I didn't really read it on it, but uh, yeah, you can check it out online if you want to know this. I just want to drink some beer now. So yeah, got it poured, guys. Really nice, hazy, dark copper color. Actually, not as red as I remember, like when the sun gets through it, it almost looks like an IPA. Uh, nice two finger off white white head. Let's take a look at the aroma on this. Mm, yeah, definitely picking up some grapefruit, citrusy hop. It does have a nice caramel backbone, like you get in some red ales, and almost like a spicy character. And a, a solid like breadiness, not like spicy and breadiness like a rari kind of aroma, but like just spicy hop notes, I guess. And then like that uh, kind of a thick breadiness with the caramel notes. Yeah, uh, along with the grapefruit from citrus notes, a little bit of pine, slightly resiny. It smells pretty refreshing, but it smells um, like the. I don't know when this was from because the code, I don't really know how to read the code on there, but it smells like it was, and I think this is a special or seasonal release because it says limited release on the side, but a little bit of a peachy note, mango, or not mango, but like a melony note too. It smells like a nice balance between hoppy and, and uh, malty, so let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah. That is quite nice and refreshing. It is like a kind of a red ale ordeal. The flavor isn't super hoppy. Uh, I think they n mentioned the IBUs on here too, don't they usually do that? Uh, yeah, it's 66 IBUs, so it's not crazy high, but you're definitely good. It's good, solid kick of bitterness. Um, body on it is higher than a medium, surprisingly enough. It's actually kind of chewy, the body on it, which is nice. But quite refreshing. I'm picking up some of these Caramel toffee flavors for sure. Lots of breadiness, like a sweet, sugary, almost brown sugar slight note in there. It has almost like a a berry fruitiness to it, like a like a generic kind of red berry fruitiness, mixed berry fruitiness to it, which is kind of interesting, like almost like an ester. You get some of the grapefruit as well, kind of that spicy note, not as much as the. Uh, the, the rhyme, but the sugary note is kind of interesting in there. Um, not bad in any way, it's actually kind of nice. Um, bitterness lingers for a little, not too long. Actually, the, like the sweetness and that, that kind of sweet caramel flavor reminds me a little bit of ice cream cone for some reason because it almost has like a slight vanilla touch, which is really odd. I don't know why I'm picking that up. But, hop-wise, it's the grapefruit, it's a little bit of a melon character, some kind of slightly piney notes, and it does have a little bit of a black tea kind of flavor too, almost as if it's not super fresh, which I'm guessing it isn't, because it's usually like that with Lagunitas, or a lot of American beers here, it's, you usually get them about two months old, at the youngest, so this is probably three or something like that, I'd imagine, but, <clears throat> it's good stuff, it's not a mind-blowingly great Lagunitas beer, and it is... I it, the, I said I remembered it being like Arrogant Bastard, and it isn't, because it's not as offensive, but it, it, if you don't like Arrogant Bastard, but you like the Red Ales, I'm sure you'd like this, but it's quite nice, it balances sweetness and all very nicely. Rating-wise, for the uh, Undercover Shutdown Investigation Ale, that's the name right, uh, Undercover Investigation Shutdown Ale from Lagunitas. 
I'm going to go 86. It's a quite nice beer, and for the price, it's just awesome. Um, I mean, even Lagunitas is cheap in Denmark, which is great. But I'd rather pick up a bottle of hops, too, because that's, we got that at the store now, too. And I think I'm going to bring that for Vakin, which is... This review is going to be posted in the week I'm at Vakin, so having fun. Uh, so, yeah. Hey guys, definitely let me know what you think of the Lagunitas Undercover Investigation Shutdown Ale if you've had it. Would be awesome if we could get the Lagunitas Sucks if they're going to release that next year. That would be great, but I doubt it. So yeah guys, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And I'm going to say cheers, and we'll see you guys in another beer review.